Sandri? Someone? Kenny? guest today, Mr. Kenny, who I call also my Game of Thrones mentor. Mr. Kenny? Is that, is that not okay? I guess, I sure. Some of you might know him from Twitter, at AxeChucker. So, we just watched episode 9 of Game of Thrones, and as you can see, we have our little t-shirts ready for action, I guess. Team Lannister. Lannister t-shirt in red mm. for the red wedding. So last week, I got the title totally wrong, so this week is actually The Reigns of Castamere. We're going to start with a few quick thoughts on the episode. I probably have a lot of things to say about a certain event that happened. Something happened. Something happened. Uh, I don't know. First thing that I want to talk about, just on a happy note, Gilly said to Sam, you're like a wizard. And as Kenny nicely reminded me, Sam always wanted to be a wizard. How cute is that? It's adorable. Mm -hmm. Continuing on that good note, Enyer ended up marrying a pretty wife. The only pretty Frey in existence. His face was priceless. Next thing I wanted to mention is Rickon, who has been sent away by Bran with Asha. And as we saw at the end, that was probably a smart thing for him to do. Can <laughs> keep, keep, keep the last potential king safe, because there's not going to be that many more. Available after tonight's episode. Stark's dropping like flies. But that's what happens when you cross House Lannister. Maybe I should change my t-shirt. I don't know. I'm getting a little worried. Join the team. <laughs> One thing also I mentioned to you is that this is the first episode that we actually see some characters getting close to their family. There was Bran and Arya. Both got close to their family family. Unfortunately, one ended a little better than the other one. <laughs> yes, it did. But, uh... Bran could have spit on John if he wanted to yeah. and hit him in this beautiful, pretty boy hair. And so that leads me to some of the two bigger things that I wanted to mention. First one is Bran and John. So John not only revealed his true alliance, but he totally ditched Igret. He ditched her, left her in the dust. Left her Can in the mud, he, so to speak. Would, why? Why? You know, he was pressed for time, I guess. She, she she didn't look very happy that he was going there without her, being that she was sort of already fighting for him. But uh, you know, it's interesting. Um, not to spoil the books for you, but uh, in the book, she actually she actually shoots him in the leg with an arrow. So I guess this is a bit of an improvement to that, or not an improvement. It depends well, on where you stand. She can still do that if she tries to follow him. You yes. know, it's not over. It's not over yet. She seemed pretty pissed. It's probably so. Not. And I really loved learning more about. Bren's power or what he could do because I, I was like, okay, this is it looks interesting and then it's like has a lot of potential that it could be cool, but we never really saw anything except like, oh, he has visions, right? But now he can control the wolves, which seems pretty handy, yeah, and when you Holder. Can't walk, and Hoder, yeah, Hoder, he was afraid of the thunder, afraid of the thunder. Aww. We love Hoder, Christian Nairn, who plays him so well, yeah, but Kenny. We're getting to that final scene. And can I just say, I totally called Rob's wife getting killed or dying. She when did. she got pregnant, I was like, I don't know why. I think she's going to die. When they stabbed Talisa, I literally went, I called this. She did. And then I was like, I did not call the rest. <laughs> However, <laughs> that was a surprise. I did not expect the other two to follow her in death at all. Actually, I don't know about you, but, well, you probably already knew that, but I was still hoping that they would, like, survive. I was like, oh, they're not dead yet. They're gonna totally survive. They're gonna... Oh, no. <laughs> Throw it a slice. There's... Yeah, that's not happening. No, no. Again, the difference between the show and the books. In the books, Rob does not marry a Talisa. There is no Talisa in, in, in the books at all. There's a, a girl named uh, Jane Westerling that he marries, who's a lot more docile. You have to remember in the books that these characters are all younger. Rob, when he starts his whole thing, is about 14 years old. So he's 14 or 15 by the time he becomes King of the North. Yeah, I, I, I still like, I think I like this version way better. <laughs> well, because I, I think it would be weird to watch 14 year old 
kids <laughs> played that out. Jane Westerling, nobody has any idea whether or not she is pregnant or not. Uh, Jane Westerling survived the Red Wedding, we're pretty sure. This is a complete change. So I called something that wasn't even in the book. Come on! Rob and Catherine. Catelyn. Rob and Catelyn. Gone. I would equate this similar to the Ned Stark dying. Because, but a lot more bodies hitting the floor. Right. But I'm saying in terms of like surprise where you're like, yeah. oh, I forgot that they do that in this show. They do kill those main characters. I expected Rob to be there for like seasons on end. And then I thought, well, at least Catelyn is going to make it out. <laughs> they killed her as an afterthought too. Like, she was yeah. just standing there and then get her too. I thought it was very well done. We kind of knew that with the actors in question, we were going to get something good. Una Chaplin, who plays uh, Talisa, has been outstanding. Richard Madden as Rob Stark is yeah. much better. It's really it's good. Much, much that's why I was much like, Much better than a 14 year old kid, so yeah, that's good. And um, of course, Michelle Fairley is just outstanding, as was outstanding as Catelyn Stark. And um, I love the fact that they ended the entire episode with no music whatsoever. There's been a bit of a... Some people were probably complaining about the music at the end of the, the episode where Jamie gets his hand hacked off and they go to the punk rock music, which I loved. Some I thought that, that was cool. Yeah. I mean, it's like, it was so violent. Yeah. Th this one was so more kind of... And then, and then it's like nothing. Nothing. And I think you needed that moment to be like, uh... Like, are they, like, really dead? Like, maybe they can, like, put the neck back on, right? Like, maybe? Bring them back. Ooh. And then, we don't know that, but I was I was asking you, is what's what's going on with Edmure? Because he was out, and he married the daughter, so I'm like, did they kill him? He thought he was going into his wedding nights, and, you know, it's like, surprise! And then there's the uncle, right? Blackfish. Blackfish, see? Yeah. Mentor. He was, he was taking Game a piss Thrones at the mentor. time. So he could still be alive. Edmure could possibly still be alive. Edmure could possibly be having the best night of his life right now while like, everybody yeah. is... Yeah. Cut to... That's... They should have had one of those things where after the credits roll, they do a quick, <laughs> quick cut to the bedroom with Edmure going, This is the best night ever. Pretty insane episode 9 as we kind of all expected things went kind of like this and then it was like this the whole episode and then it went like Wah! and then back it's to... always episode 9. I enjoyed the fact that they were able to concentrate those last few moments on Catelyn and she's just standing there with that look on her face. The dire wolf dead too. Oh, I know. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to see the reaction to that. People get mad when animals die. People, who cares? The, the pregnant wife, not so much. Yeah, but cares? the wolf. The wolf? No. What? They killed Grey Wind! I think okay. that about covers it. Yeah. Good episode. Can't wait for the next one. Speaking of this one, of the next one, some preview thoughts. That preview starts with Tyrion saying, the Northerners will never forget. That probably doesn't bode well for them. The North remembers. That was the title of an episode. And was it? Yes, it is. So then, definitely not a good thing. I'm expecting next week to be insane. The preview kind of showed a little bit of everybody. And then you mentioned that Jamie is the head. Looks like Jamie's in King's Landing, so that'll be exciting. See him reconnect with the old. You have to pick the winning side. Here. And that's what I'm doing, is I'm rolling well, with I, the... I still think Daenerys has quite a good shot. Do you have some uh, thoughts for the finale? I think more Lannister domination is definitely in order. I mean, we didn't get any Tyrion at all this episode. No that's Jamie, true. no Brienne, so I think we're going to get that. No, I like Jamie and Brienne. I like them too. That's all I had. Well, thank you for inviting Brother. me, Sandrine. Yes, uh, thank you for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, of course, if you want to see more of Kenny or hear more of his uh, thoughts, you can follow him on Twitter. Axe Chucker and Fabio at winteriscoming.net. You probably actually know me by that name anyway. They're going to be like, Kenny, Kenny, who's Kenny? It's, it's just Fabio. a name I made up. I'm actually Fabio. Maybe we should have called you Fabio. I was going to go with the beaver look, but people <laughs> said comb it forward, right? All right. I'm don't like, do it, don't Kenny. Do don't it. do it. Okay. This is getting out of hand. So that's Kenny. You should follow him. He retweets a lot of Game of Thrones stuff. The Twitter posts there. are very popular at Winter is Coming. They come out every Wednesday, so come so to winteriscoming.net. Check, check us out. Thanks, guys, so much for watching me and Kenny. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. You know, click the like button. That's always uh, nice. We always like that. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet so that you don't miss 
the review for the final episode of the season of Game of Thrones, because I'm guessing it's going to be insane. And that's it. Oh, all the links for Kenny will be in the description. Now you can go crazy. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you...